What's up, y'all? Let's get straight into it. 4B movement is a victory for us because we told them we don't want no old single mothers. Thanks. Hit the wall. They're over 30. They had children before they got married. And they got a high body count. They're doing us a favor. I don't care how many men make videos like this, act like they don't care. I mean, is the man wrong? That women don't want to marry them or have their children. We're all very well aware that there is a single male loneliness epidemic going on right now. There's not a single woman loneliness. Well, did you not ever think that it was maybe due to their own choice that they wanted to be alone? Did you ever think about that? problem. The 4B movement is about decentering men and here they are doing what they always do and that's putting themselves in the center of somebody else's movement. They have been trying their hardest to co-opt any movement that women get. We say we want a, a soft life, here they are talking about they're in their soft guy era. We say sprinkle sprinkle, now they're talking about drizzle drizzle. Like every time we make a movement they try to mirror us. How are you the leader when we're always following us? I guess we must be the leaders. I think the men are becoming afraid because they're realizing a woman's power. When they see these uh, decreasing rates of marriage and childbirth they're realizing that it's the women who have decided to make it that way no <laughs> that's not the case at all men control access to relationships and women control access to sex so ladies if you're not getting wiped up it's because you're not suitable so they have always come up with some kind of scare tactic, some kind of manipulation. But the latest tactic is to act like it was their idea. We actually like this, right, fellas? We um, wink, wink. Yeah, we we. This is what we want too. No, this isn't what you want, but it is what you're going to get. The manipulation and scare tactics. Actually, are I think a lot of men want this. Less promiscuous women, women that maybe wait till they're in a relationship with a guy to have coitus with him. You know, I think this might be a good thing for society. I don't know, chat. Let me know what you think, though. I, personally, I think the 4B movement is turning feminists into conservatives, but they've done such a good job of psyoping themselves that they think it's empowering to be conservative. It, it's so weird to me. Aren't working and they never will. You're going to have to do the one thing you have been avoiding the whole time, and that is change and become a better man if you ever want to be with any one of these women. No one is settling for you anymore. Is anybody settling for a woman like this? I don't know. Just let me know. All right, girlies, here's the history of the 4B movement. Before we incorporated into American culture, we got to understand its South Korean roots. So 4B is a radical feminist movement that originated in South Korea, and it stands for the four no's. No sex with men, no dating men, no marriage with men, and no childbirth with men. Now, since South Korea is racially and ethnically pretty similar, the major divide line is gender, and men have way more rights. Like, South Korean women earn 69% of what South Korean men earn. The worst use of 69. They face widespread workplace discrimination, and intimate partner violence in relationships is so common. Now, a quick history lesson of South Korea and the world. Around 2010, South Korea was recovering from financial collapse around the world, and that meant the job market was extremely competitive. But at the same time, South Korean women's college enrollment surpassed men. Women used to drop out of college to be mothers homemaker but now they were competing with men for jobs in an already competitive market so men did what they do best cry about it in online forums south korean men began calling women kimchi women which is a term for college educated women who are self-obsessed around 2014 and 20 i don't know about y'all but I, I really do dig me some good kimchi <laughs> 2015, a misogynistic community called Ilbay starts to grow online. Then, in 2016, a man murders a woman. So if anything a man does that's empowering is called misogyny, can we start calling all these, like, 4B movement and all these women movements misandry? And he does it because women never paid attention to him. Now, women flock to online forums for community, and it's around then that a movement called Escape the Corset also begins to get steam online. This movement encouraged Korean women to escape beauty standards and cosmetic surgery expectations. It was one of the ones that inspired 4B. Now, we see 4B really taking off in 2016, when the government releases a birth map showing women of a reproductive age and where they're the most concentrated. Obviously, the girlies are pissed at being seen as nothing more than baby-making machines. It was there they decided that the surest way of avoiding pregnancy was to avoid men altogether. No sex, no dating, no marriage, no childbirth. In 2022, 65% of Korean women said that they didn't want kids, compared to 48% of men. Currently, the birth rate of South Korea is 0.78, the lowest in the world. And while that's not because of 4B, it's actually because of multiple factors. Cost of living, highly competitive and toxic work culture, and the fact that men are just plain horrible. Spy camps are a huge issue. <laughs> Men are just plain horrible. While she holds her iPhone that a man coordinated to make, the lavalier mic she's using, all the clothes, the makeup, literally a man had to organize to probably get all of this or, you know, ready to be purchased on the, the free market here. And here she is. I, dude, you can't make this stuff up.
issue in the country with many female restrooms containing them. Revenge porn is a big problem there. Like just this past September, there was that huge Telegram scandal where men would like take pictures of random women on the street and then post them on Telegram and people would create deep fakes of them. Porn deep fakes. The girlies for be activists want you to know that the movement isn't about punishing men. It's about centering your own life and figuring out what you're capable of on your own. For 4B, Korean men and the society that benefits them are beyond repair, so they're not trying to change their mind. Now, 4B does have a few drawbacks. They're not exactly inclusive of all women. Some sex report transphobia and requirements of submitting an ID for proof. Excluding trans women is like crazy to me, because you're trying to tell me that the most important part of being a woman is her genitals? That sounds like something a man would say. Korea's gender pay gap is massive, so not having some cost offset by a man, it's rough. Many in the 4B have multiple jobs, live at home with parents, or in some cases live in cheap and unsafe areas. But the community is strong and they're driven to help each other. 4B has financial advisors within it, teaching women how to get rich by themselves. And they're confident- You know, I'm actually not surprised that, that, that she thinks this way. Usually the bull nose ring, the crazy colored eyeshadow, I mean, it all checks out. I know the dating scene sucks, but so does getting hurt in an accident. Have you ever found yourself involved in a personal injury case? As an image consultant, I meet a lot of clients who are actually recovering from all sorts of injuries, from car accidents to workplace injuries. And I was actually surprised to see at how many people lose their personal injury cases, which is why I want to talk about Morgan and Morgan, America's largest injury law firm. They specialize in a wide variety of personal injury cases, and they've won thousands of big cases. And if you do end up working Working with them, they're going to fight for the money that you deserve. Just recently, Morgan & Morgan solidified verdicts in Florida for $12 million and $26 million in Philly. That's up to 40 times the highest insurance offer. And I'm telling you, your case could be worth millions. And the best part is, it's all free unless you win your case. Now, if you've also been the victim of a personal injury or a serious accident, you can visit www.forthepeople.com slash Levi, found in the description below, where you can start your free claim today. I don't know what's so funny about this fake 4B outrage from the men. Is that anytime a woman expresses her terrible experiences with a man then it's always you should have picked better so now we're not picking at all and you motherfuckers got a problem with it then I, 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 personally i don't have a problem gents do you have a problem um I, I, no problems here and don't let us talk about our deadbeat ass baby daddies then single mom this you should have kept your fucking legs closed so now we choosing not to fuck y'all at all. And y'all still got a problem with that. Then it's always, y'all bitches asking for too much. Y'all some gold diggers. Y'all want us for our money. Now we not asking y'all for a fucking thing. Absolutely nothing. Just leave us the fuck alone. And y'all got a problem with that. Then when women start talking about how they want a ring, they want to get married, then is a ring shouldn't, you know, determine how much I love you. And a, a, a marriage is just a piece of paper. We don't have to do that. So now that bitch is get no more. Y'all got a problem with that. Women get blamed for being the single mothers who actually stay with the kids while the men go out and create seven more single parent homes. And now y'all mad because we don't want to have no more kids at all. I mean, I agree with that take. I think it was um, Cam Newton. He had a thing with this lady. An interview. Loki, free. Sit. Wait. Free. Go to your place. She was interviewing him, talking about how he has like six or seven baby moms and basically how he's contributing to the degeneracy because he's creating broken homes. So the more men go out there and... You know, procreate with women that they don't want to be in a monogamous relationship with and raise their children. They are creating broken homes. So it's on it's on the men too. Um, but ladies, you you got to realize that when you're going through the act of coitus with a man, you have a lot more to risk than he does, right? You have the risk of getting pregnant and being you know being pregnant for nine months. So you know it makes sense. Men don't have that. Men are like, cool, you're pregnant, whatever. It doesn't bother me. I can, I can get ten preg ten women pregnant in a week. It doesn't matter in a day, even if you can, bro. If you can get that many out, <laughs> Lord have mercy. Um, but you get the gist. Um, and it's just funny to me that women want to bash men so hard, but at the same time, it's like, but you cracked your legs for this guy. Apparently, if, if he ain't worth nothing. Why are you cracking your legs for him? Why are you giving him the highest honor on earth, which would be a child? So it's like, ladies, 
you got to realize that it, it, this is a risky game for you. This is a very, very risky game for you. And if you want to have a man's kids, you got to realize that if he's not up to snuff and you can't see him being a potential partner in the future, you probably shouldn't even, you know, go down that go down that path with him and have sex. Um, and I think that's maybe what the 4B movement is intrinsically doing where they don't even realize it. I am never the first on a trend or a sign-up sheet, but I must be the first Southern woman that y'all jump. I have to be. Baby, I, oh, I'm salivating. This sounds like more fun than going to TJ Maxx, Ulta, <laughs> Target, and Starbies while being kid-free on a Sunday with a clean house. Honey, we have to tame blue-collar men down here. That ain't for the faint of heart. I know you know nothing about that life, honey, but blue-collar men, <laughs> We gotta be tough. We work on farms. We pack heat. We live in the mountains. We live in cold conditions. And we don't put up with it. Because other southern women would not allow us to not put up with it. Honey, if another southern woman steps to me, I gotta handle it. You're light work. You are an easy, breezy, beautiful cover girl on a Sunday. But after I finish molly whopping you, I will fix you a casserole, say bless your heart, and give you a loaf of bread. Bro, Southern women for the win, bro. I'm in Texas. Um, and if you ain't had you a Southern woman yet, movement I highly suggest it, bro. The best. Southern women are the best, man. She said, Molly whopping you, make you a casserole on a Sunday. She was cooking, brother. She was cooking. <laughs> For be movement this, for be movement that. I have a very sneaky suspicion just from everyone that I know in real life that talks about the 4B movement. The people that are being the loudest about being very anti getting together with men, a lot of you guys are still in situationships and are actively hooking up with men in a non-committal way. I guess where men suck the most, in which cities they suck the most. Cities like New York. I don't know a single person who's having a good time dating in New York right now because men get all the benefits of being in a relationship with a woman for free from multiple women all the time. They're energy harvesting off of women all the time. Hey, shout out to her. Holding the ladies accountable. Ladies, you don't want these men to trample on you. Stop giving him every honor that a girlfriend or even a wife would get. You know what I mean? Like stop. And then another thing, stop dating on the potential of somebody. If somebody wants to be with you, they want to be in a relationship with you, more than likely they'll say that, at least as a guy, at least I did. It was either, hey, let's just be friends, let's just keep hanging out, which means I'm putting you in the buck fuddy category, or I was like, you know what, I see you as a serious partner, but I don't know if most men are like that. I'm I'm 34 years old now, so I'm I'm been out of the dating market for almost a decade. Because you guys are like, oh, I don't want the responsibilities of being with a man and men suck and blah, blah, blah. But you guys get lonely. You want the validation. Time out. I say this because I needed to hear this years ago. Because let's be intellectually honest about this movement. People are enacting it because philosophically it works, but really, what's the emotional reason? Women are butthurt and we're saying we're going to take away our feelings and decenter our feelings and our happiness from men. But what do you do? when you're hurt. You pull back emotionally first and then you pull back physically. So the way that women are expressing their nihilism in these cities is by continuing to sleep with people but not being emotionally involved with them. And that is the opposite order in which things should be done. So friendly reminder to anyone that is currently going through the disillusionment process of dating but still giving men physical access to them because that feels more emotionally safe. It's not. It's Shout out to her, man. We need more women like this. Shout out to this woman, bro. We need more base chicks out there. Because the thing is, ladies will listen to ladies, but they won't listen to the men. But even then, when ladies are spitting this base stuff, like a lot of chicks don't still don't even want to hear it, bro. It's funny to me. The most wild thing to me about the 4B movement is the outpouring of women who are realizing how much of a good idea it is. And the outpouring of men who are like, they can do that. I know it's a fairly <laughs> recent thing, man, but yeah, women can get their own homes, live their own lives, and do basically everything that they want to without centering men around their lives. And it's very telling to think that this is a threat to you. You would think that some of you would see this as a step towards getting rid of the patriarchy and removing some of the stress in your life around being a traditional man, even though some of you may still want to be. But oh, I definitely want to be. And I don't know where this nose ring guy is going, but he kind of had me in the first half. Let's see where he heads, though. With the 4B movement, women don't need to center men around their lives because women don't need men to survive anymore. Ooh, you lost me on that one. How about new? Stop the cap. <sighs> Let's do a quick little Google search. 
who dominates STEM? Let's see here. All right. Okay, well, this is actually pretty alarming. The share of women in under, uh, underrepresented minorities in the STEM workforce. Let's see here. Men dominated STEM occupants in 2021. 65% of STEM workers are men, while only 35% are women. Um, here's the thing. If science, technology, engineering, and math, that's pretty much all the people to keep the lights on, the water running, the, the clothes created, the infrastructure of roadways going, the lights flickering on the, you know, everything, everything. STEM is what makes it happen. You're telling me that if if men stop doing that, that the ladies would be fine? Stop it, bro. Stop the cap. It would not, it, there's no way. No way, shape, or form that if men stepped out of these roles that the world would be able to operate. It's just not happening. Because the thing is, 65% of the men are taking care of taking care of 100% of the men and 100% of the women. So it's like, come on, bro. Stop it. Stop it. It was a fairly recent thing that women could start voting and having banks. Eh, I don't know about that. When, when, when could women vote? A fairly recent thing? When did that happen? Um, when was the 19th Amendment passed? June 4th, 1919. Stupid. A fairly recent thing? You mean in the past hundred years? I guess August, actually, I'm sorry, August 26, 1920. So it's been 104 years. That's fairly recent. What? Bank accounts. And in some men's minds, it's only going to get worse from here. So with women not needing to rely on men anymore for housing and having actual money, men might have to start doing insane things in order to attract women like having a personality. I just think that feeling threatened during a movement where women decent. No. <laughs> this guy is so dumb. <laughs> Stupid. Bro, here's the thing. Men have to understand women to sleep with them, but women don't have to understand men to sleep with them. Like for women, it's so much easier. What are you talking about? Men have to have personalities from the jump to even get a chick in the first place. Like, are you kidding me? <laughs> you really think men have it that easy? And, and I'll be, I'll be honest. That guy, I don't think a lot of girls are just lining up to go bang this dude. He seems like very liberal, soy boy, the nose ring, the, the the hair. Like, girls want guys that are masculine, at least the last time I checked. The last time I checked, fem boys weren't getting all the play. But ma maybe I'm wrong. Chat, just let me know. But ma maybe I'm wrong. But the last time I checked, like, girls aren't going after, like, the Twinkie boys. They're going after the dudes who are tall, dark, and handsome and manly. Now that the dust has settled, there's a couple of things that I want to say. Y'all think I'm ready to go full 4B. I'm kind of... I'm ready to go full 4B movement. Oh, that. man. I mean, you, you, shocker, because, you know, I see the bull nose ring and I already think that, but let's get into it. Uh, actually, black men, y'all did well. We got about 80% or so. Uh, it's always going to be some knuckleheads that think they white and got a white woman or, you know, whatever. Yeah, the black men did pretty good. I'm not specifically mad at black men. It's just men in general treating women like, why are our rights always up for grabs? It's what not rights? I'm so confused. At reproductive rights? Free country if every four years I got to fight for my life. Like, if Fighting for your life in an apartment with full of earrings. Probably you have a job. Like, what? what? How are you fighting for your life? insist on making women second-class citizens we don't have to give you our body if we got to fight for our reproductive rights we don't have to give you children we don't have to reproduce with you we're gonna do like they doing over good <laughs> i think it's okay be in a relationship first before you reproduce we're in korea korea got a whole missing class of children because they stopped mating with the men i will say she has really nice teeth and they stopped giving birth because their rights were not being protected and because the men were not doing their fair share. And I'm ready to go full 4B. Women, if, you're not, if you haven't heard of it, look up the 4B movement. Uh, I think that the only way that women are going to get respect and change the narrative and break out of this misogynistic patriarchal nightmare is to withhold our bodies and start demanding more. We cannot be picked. I think that's a good thing. That, that makes you more conservative. What do they not? How do they not see this? <laughs> and like even the comments, been celibate for two years. I'm the movement now. I've been with the 4B and for me for many years now. I've been 4B for two years and didn't know it was a movement. It's the most peace I've ever had. That's great. 
That's fantastic. Don't give men your bodies unless you're ready to like be in a relationship with them. I think that's a good thing. Pick me's. We cannot be chasing after men. We cannot be using our emotions and making excuses for men's poor treatment of us. We cannot be protecting DL men, especially in the church. We cannot be protecting predators. We have to. Wait, 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 wait. So you're telling me you were protecting these men all along? Down low men, predators, guys that were abusive. You were protecting these men? It sounds like the 4B movement is helping you guys out then, if that's the case. If you were protecting these men? I don't know, man. Stand up for us and us only, because that's what they're doing. And we are standing by our men, supporting them, supporting the church and their misogyny, and making us feel like second-class class citizens, and going along with it like we agree with it. Like we really think the uh, abortion is the issue, when really the issue is women's sexual freedom. You don't want women to feel sexually free. You want men to feel sexually free and women to be punished and carry the burden and shame of unwanted. I don't know where they're talking about men being sexually free. I think it's bad for both sides to be promiscuous. Chat, let me know what you think. Pregnancy or STDs or so on and so forth. And guess what? Well, then y'all just be celibate. How about that? How about y'all just how Grinder crashed at the RNC because y'all was DL? Y'all go ahead and keep doing that. And then we'll just keep our stuff to Bro, our the city. homophobia. <laughs> The homophobia is crazy. Got a Loki here. The homophobia is crazy. The first thing they do is just bash men for being gay. There's nothing wrong with being gay, dude. If you're gay, you're gay. Cool, whatever. Or we'll just share it with each other, and then we'll just go our separate ways. How about that? But as for for women continuing to participate in the misogyny, even especially in our churches, like I just have. What happened to you at church? <laughs> Something like she keeps mentioning church zero patience for it anymore I'm, not, I'm just not going i'm not going men they act like women are so emotional the crash no outs that i see are men men are crashing out if you tell them no when you try to act like you don't want to give them your number or that you are not interested in them you become all kind of bitches whores fat black ugly all kind of things like the men are the ones that's crashing out and i think we need a good old time out from each other if you are in a marriage that's horrible get out of it get out of it uh, love, it's always the single women telling women to to get out of their marriages. If you have trouble getting out of it and can't live on your own, get you one or two best friends and y'all make a little female compound with you. Sister and wives. Yep. Your children and y'all help each other and take care of each other. There, there is go. ways. We do not have to continue to subject ourselves to abuse, to being second class, to misogyny, to all of these things and being can't even get adequate health care because... This is what we voting for. This is what men want. And white women, y'all did not show up. Latino men, I don't got nothing for you, Jose. If they come and get your abuela, good. I don't know what to tell you. If y'all want to be white and they they want to deport your grandma, I'm letting her have it. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not marching with nobody. Most people really be believing everything that they that they see on the media, bro. <laughs> this is why I always say like. You can watch the news, you can watch CNN, you can watch Fox, but make sure you go and get on Reddit. Make sure you go and get on Twitter. Scroll Facebook, look at IG, talk to your friends. Like, don't get all of your information from one place. But the thing is, from what I've found out, TikTok is just a straight big brain rot doom scroll. You just scroll down and it like feeds on your insecurities because we know as humans, we pay more attention to negative things than we do positive things. That's why the news is all just negative, negative, negative. Like, I was over at a family member's house the other day. They have the news on, and it's just negative thing after negative thing after... Ne and I'm like, no wonder everybody's afraid and there's tons of fear-mongering. I was just like, can y'all turn that down? It's just like, a little kid was kidnapped. There was a murder here, a car crash here. People are dying. People are getting deported. I'm like, God, can you, we just... Like, how do you watch that for eight hours a day and not feel bad? Like, you're gonna feel bad when all you're listening to is negative things. Go out there and read a self-help book. Go listen to some good music. Go look for the beauty in things. Once you start looking for positive things, you're going to get positive results. Tony Robbins talks about this on a Theo Vaughn podcast where he's like, all right, I want you to look around in the room and, and point out every, think about everything that's brown. He gives him like 20 seconds. And he's like, all right, tell me the things that were brown. He's like, names them off. He's like, all right, now tell me everything that's red. He had no idea what he was talking about. It's because what you focus on is what you see. There's a quote I made up. I'm trying to remember it, but it was like, um... What the mind thinks, the eye sees. I used to have a painting back here, and people used to say it was like, 
it, it looked like a certain thing. I won't, I won't mention it here, but it, this looks like this, this looks like this. And I was like, well, what the mind thinks, the, the eyes see. So if that's what you're thinking, that's what you're going to see. It's just like when you look up in the clouds and you're like, oh, I'm looking for faces. And then you see a face and you're like, oh my God, there's a face in the cloud. Like, you were looking for it, dude. What do you mean you saw that? It's what you're looking for. Same thing with these women. They're looking for the negativity, so they're going to find it. If you look for the beauty, like Cass and I, we're in a beautiful marriage. I love her. Love her to pieces. We're so happy together. But we look for the happy things. We don't look for the negative things. There's enough stuff that's going on that's hard in this world. Go focus on the positive things. More than likely, you'll get positive stuff out of it. But Loki, did you have a good time today? I know today's episode was a little longer, but I appreciate you guys. This 4B movement is nuts, man. Absolutely nuts. There's so much content out there. Well, this, like I said, this might be a 10-part series. Who knows? But I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Go cop the ebook, the two ebooks, the four pillars of personality and the four steps to style. They make you irresistible to women and respected by men. I'll see you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.